everyone, Coach EJ here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a fist. I'm gonna show you a variation to that. I'm gonna show you the common mistakes you need to avoid and where to make contact with the fist when you do throw a punch. Now to start this off, I'm gonna bring my hand up and to the side. I'm gonna bring my fingers together. I'm gonna roll my fingertips down towards the shelf of the palm and I'll bend my fingers inward one more time. From here, I'll bring my thumb across towards the ring finger and this is our basic fist. Okay, now one thing I wanna point out, you wanna make sure you keep the ribs nice and straight to help you minimize the possibility of injury. And I want you to clench your fist just so you can do more damage whenever you do throw a punch. Okay, now for the variation, which I call the martial arts fist, which I've seen people do inside like Quadri Kempo and other karate fighting styles. Um, so it's almost all the same. Okay, so what they do is they bring their hand up and out, bring your fingers together, they roll down to the shaft of the palm, but this time when they roll and bend their fingers inward, they extend out their index and middle finger. From here, the thumb still comes across, and this is their martial arts fist. Everything's all the same here. Wrist straight, clench your fist when you want to make impact. Okay, now onto the common mistakes. Now you can pick either style to make a fist, but the difference is, or where the biggest common problems are, is the placement of the thumb. If I throw my fist, instead of coming across, some people throw their thumb upward. Now this creates a little hook, which snags on everything, whether it be your body, head, arms, bags, everything. Guaranteed to jam, possibly breaking your thumb. So be mindful of this. Also, the second, most, uh, the second common mistake would be people bringing their thumb on the inside and folding their fingers around. This by far is the worst and will guarantee break your thumb if you throw any sort of power behind this fist, okay? Now, the last one has nothing to do with the placement of the thumb, but sometimes when we clench our fist, we kind of curl our fist forward, bending our wrist, trying to look like a bodybuilder, okay? So we want to avoid this as well because if we do make impact with this, we can break, possibly break our wrist for sure, jam in and tweak it. Okay, now on to where do we make contact with the fist? Now there's different areas and angles you can hit with the fist, but if you want to do the most damage, you hit with the two big knuckles, the middle and index finger knuckle. By far the biggest, most dense, you'll see in some of my other videos when I teach you how to throw straight punches, I'll teach you to align the big knuckles with the, with the elbow and the shoulder, the hooks, knuckles and the elbow, so on and so forth, but we're always trying to push through these monsters. Okay? And that would be it guys. I hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful. If you did, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Like always, if you have any questions, list them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Coach EJ.